Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a pinwheel, so let's get started. To draw a pinwheel, let's start with a circle for the center. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. There. So then now we're going to draw four of these curls that come out. So it's just a more simplified uh, pinwheel, so only four of them. So let's start, um, start about right here. So we're going to have one, two, three, and four. So one on top right here. We're going to go up. And then right here, we're just going to imagine this coming through. So kind of go like this. And go, we're going to go up. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect it. So this one comes up a little bit more. And connect. So we're just going to draw these four blades that come out of the center of the circle. I mean, from the circle. So let's come to the bottom one. So nice and even. So kind of imagine this on the other side. So about right here, we're going to do the same thing. So right here. So just kind of go imagine this coming through as it would on the other side. So about right here. And we're going to try our best to make it about the same size. So it's kind of all right there and then go ahead and connect it and don't worry if it's not perfect it's not going to be <laughs> we just need to try to draw these four um, curls in there and it'll look like a pinwheel don't worry so then let's draw the other two so we're gonna come in this side right now and we're gonna do the same thing so let's come out And this side's going to be a little bit longer, so let's come out. About right there. So you're kind of imagining a circle, so about right there. Now the other one, right here, the last one. So right here. This would be the longer blade, and then the shorter one. Let's go ahead and connect it. So just take a step back if you need to, to take a look. Okay, so I have my four in. So this is the hardest part to get these four in. And then now that you have that in, now we're gonna um, elongate the curls. So um, the easier tip I wanna show you is pretend there's an X going through the circle. So I'm gonna Imagine my center right here, I'm gonna come out, so that's my X. So I'm just gonna come, let's see, right here. I'm gonna start with this first one. I'm just gonna bring out an angle. It comes about right there. And I'm gonna connect it to this. So I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Once you have one in, it becomes easier. So about right there, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it. Okay. So we have this, and imagine this angle coming all the way through the circle, coming out, so about right here. Let's just go ahead and have our other angle, and then we're just gonna try to meet this. And connect. So then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So imagine another X and X going through. So about right there and connecting and same thing, same thing going through about right here and connect it there. Okay, so like I said, it's not perfect, <laughs> but you get the idea, right? It still looks like a pinwheel, and that's all we're after. Okay, so then from there, let's come in the center right here. I'm going to add a heart just to decorate my pinwheel. Come to the center, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I just hope this inspires you to come up with your own design for your pinwheel. And then from there, I'm going to add some stripes right here. So maybe five let's see how many we can get so i'm just going to follow the outside curve 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to add some stars right here. So you, you can do whatever you want, but I was inspired by 4th of July here. But stars will work for any, um, any day, right? It doesn't have to be 4th of July if you don't live in the US. So I'm going to add maybe another smaller one here. And another one right here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So big one. And smaller one, a different angle, and one more here. There. Okay, so then now to find my center so I can put um, the stick. So uh, right here, make it nice and thick. And I'm going to bring this straight line down. And let's see here. Keep going down. Okay, I'm just going to stop there so you get an idea. However long you want to make your stick and just end it. But I'm going to come in here and just add some stripes and an angle. So there, now that we're done with the drawing part of the pinwheel, let's go ahead and color it. And like I said, you can color whatever color you want. But today, because it's inspired by 4th of July, I'm going to use the red, white, and blue. So let's get started. So there, I hope you loved how this pinwheel turned out and I've inspired you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Drastic Cute videos. See you later.